set. Yeah. Shoot. Come on off. Cool. There it is. What do you think? Oh, yeah, we got so it's right there. Yeah, and when it leaves, it looks like that. This is the 285, and okay. like I told you, good news. I didn't realize it because when I checked my kind of initial places, mm -hmm. they didn't have, they didn't sell Toyos in this uh, in this spec. Right. And Toyos make awesome truck tires, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And they're also a little cheaper than going with Continentals or Pirellis or something like that. But they're still just as good. So what we were able to do was get this, the beefy size we wanted, the 285 and still be at the same price point as everybody else has the 265 because that's kind of a normal size. Okay. So it went wider. Size. Yeah, wow. and it fits the truck. The, I don't know what you call that. Girl. Yeah. 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 So yeah. it is solar orange. It's basically, it's literally the exact color that um, Nissan 350Zs were okay. with that kind of that burnt orange. So when I called up my company, they were like, hey, we can do that color. We already have it. Like, we haven't made like. So I'm like, all right, cool, then uh, just send it out. So I had it in the same, like literally within a week of when we first made the appointment. We got yeah, the GPMS sensors in in a few days, so okay. you got all those in there. Wow. No, no code, no nothing. And then the ceramic coating. Yeah, so the two layer coating uh, over all the paint, all the paint polish. I uh, were right on, right on, uh, uh, on budget, like with what I quoted just because it was uh, you know, you took really good care of it. People don't understand one bad car wash can yeah. really mess up. Paint, especially black paint. So when you have done such a good job taking care of it, it still needs a little bit of love. But I mean, to get it to this level, but it didn't need to be like fixed. Okay. And that happens a lot. Six. So, Six. so it's good. Two layer coating now. Um, you got five year warranty on that. Um, you know, so anything we do past this, you're you're good with just do clean up once a year. Um, wheels are coated. Okay. Calipers are coated. Everything should just walk right on. And tint wise, yeah, the rears are right in between, so they're slightly lighter than the back. Okay. But if we went to the next size, it would be darker than the back. And we'll yeah. 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 So we do that, and then we did the windshield 70%. So it'll it'll be just enough that it'll block some glare. It'll definitely cut down the heat tremendously. Okay. Um, it's going to make a big difference in um, just overall. Yeah, you like yeah. it? Yeah, I'm just fighting back, but just keep it out. I like it. Yeah. Geek out all you I want, dude. It. That's it. Wow. It's just, yeah. And I don't know if you got this on film, but you guys got to take a look at this SLS. Okay. So this car we just acquired. It's maybe 2,000 miles. I forget what year it was. I think 15. Um, it's a final edition for the SLS. The SLS has the following doors normally, but this is the convertible, so it has the regular opening doors. Okay. But this final edition is all carbon fiber, carbon fiber, the whole interior. Get this, get this interior here. Okay. This interior is insane. Yeah, you showed it. You showed oh, us this when yeah. it was. Uh, it was over there. Tesla yeah. Was, yeah. But so all carbon, mm -hmm. diamond stitched leather interior. And on this car, we did the same same thing as yours. All ceramic coated. Um, polished the carbon. You can't polish the satin finish. Polished all the carbon. Took the wheels off. Coated the wheels. Coated the calipers. It's, and we did the glass parents. And we actually coated the glass and everything. So it's a hundred percent. This is what we do every day, and you know we don't always take the time to publicize it because it's we're doing it like four or five times a week. So it, right. you know, making cars look good or putting wheels on. So I love it. I love it when we can show it off to somebody that really appreciates it. And I know, I know you're going. I you know, I know you appreciate it now, but once even once this thing's in, really like I, yeah, you'll see other Cherokees, you'll be like, oh, man, that's boring. Yeah, I remember those times. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> these guys are freaking phenomenal. So we're. Uh, 
Man, we got a lift to get in this weekend. I don't even know what I'm about to show you guys, but you'll see it in a minute. I'm gonna take tonight and just enjoy this thing because this has been months in the making. Man, let's go. Solid heavy sets. Actually, yeah, not three. Five and a half plates, six plates, six plates again. And I was feeling good, so that means I got a drop set on the last one. So, with six, five, three, you don't necessarily need to go, you know, all the way down to one plate where you're just doing silly weight in the sense of oh, I'm just moving a bar like now. Effectively, finish off your back. Listen, man, I'm one movement in. I could go home, eat a sandwich, and take a nap. <laughs> you know, I've done one exercise. Still got a whole back that I'm gonna finish. But that's what that's about, man. Oh, 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 oh,
water bottle's gone. Whole lot of weight moves. That's a good back there, man. That's a good back there, man. I like that pre. I mean, it's honestly, you don't like, you guys ask about supplements here and there. You don't need a crazy pre-workout to be intense. You know, a cup of coffee will do it. But if you can find a good pre-workout that you're like, okay, it gives me good intensity, good focus, and I don't crash afterwards, those are kind of the things I look for. Um, and when I say intensity, I mean like, you know, a good amount of caffeine, not to the point where you're just stem tweaking out during the lift, but just enough to be like, all right, let's go, you know? Get that little extra edge. I mean, that's all you need. You know, this it's not some magic pill, whatever. Obviously, it comes down to your intensity, man. You guys see this. That's how I like to lift. I'm not putting on a show, trying to show you guys, you know, this is how much I can lift this or this. You know, I like to hit a heavy compound, one or two compounds at the beginning of my lift, and then, uh, you know, start to isolate a little bit more, increase the rep range a little bit as the lift goes on. I'm freaking gassed. Um, i trying to think what else there is. So, in terms of merchandise, I mentioned that at the end of the last video. The first sample, again, may or may not be coming in. There may or may not be a sample. Um, but that process just takes time, especially with COVID and everything. You know, it can only move so fast. So if there is in fact a sample, and if I do in fact drop merchandise, probably a couple more weeks of the you know sampling process, and then uh, you know if the hypothetical sample is approved, then hypothetically I would launch it probably three or four weeks after that hypothetical approval. You know, but uh, we'll we'll see where all that goes. But yeah, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Just wanted to drop a good intense workout for you. Um, you know, whether you're still training at home, maybe you're back in the gym, man, just keep it intense, you know, be smart. It's not about doing weight that your body can't handle, but, you know, push yourself, man. Don't be afraid to, to you know, throw on a little bit extra, go for a couple more reps. I mean, for me, that's where I feel like I've always seen the best results. You know, that cliche, you know, that last rep or two, like, man, it's, it's real, you know, if you really push, push for it, your body's gonna have to adapt at the end of it, you know, because you're training the muscle beyond you know, what it's used to. So I'd say that's a decent recipe for growing if, you're, if your diet's relatively there too, man. You know, if you drink one of, more than just Ovaltine in the morning, you'll be all right. So uh, seriously, drop suggestions for the next videos in the comments. Hopefully, regardless, the next video will include uh, the upgrades I'm getting done in my Jeep is still in the shop right now. But uh, we'll see where that goes. Man, that's it. What do I know? I'm just ready. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Just watch that, baby, just watch that, just watch that, just watch that